Hey, welcome back everyone. This is Predpool. Um, thank you for clicking and watching my review. Um, basically, this is more of a comparison review that I'll be doing with a prior figure that came out. This is from uh, Fury Plant Foray Planet um, Master Wing. Now, this is just a variant that came that is, was only available as at this moment from Bum Us B. Uh, this is an online store from China. Um, they do fairly quick um, delivery. Um, they started the chipping process um, about five days ago and already got it. Um, so it was really expedited um, delivery uh, as far as getting their product. Um, so this is again, it's gonna be more of a comparison review from this figure to the original version that's available in most um, other online retailers, even in Amazon, they um, had the regular version available. Now looking at this packaging, as you can see, um, I already took the figure out, but you can see here the artwork. Um, here we see they went with the variant color uh, of white, and then we see here on the side, um, the again, the, the picture or the drawing they did of him. Then on the back, they have him with an action pose, and then some figure shots that we, those also were online that we can see. And then on the side is uh, just a window with the you know the claw marks now if you compare this packaging with the original this is the original so we see they went with different artwork it wasn't just a color swap that they did with the drawings here you see on the side it's more of a neutral and here we see more again of aggressive with the with the uh, exclusive version so quite nice and even on the back we see here different action pose for both versions. So I'm glad they went that extra mile that they didn't they just do a collar swap with the original. They actually did a whole new um, artwork for the box for this exclusive version. Now let's take a look at the figure itself. With the, when you get him on the package, he comes like this. He comes with the cloak on. He has here um, the belt or the skirt. Um, he already had the pipe on him, so that was nice. So something that I do like about um, already, if you look at his eyes, they paint him like a, a blue. It's almost like a lightning type deal going on, or you know, frost. But yeah, I like that they went with that color with his eyes. His, um, as far as like inside the gums, they stick out more than the regular version and I'll do the comparison with the other head sculpts so we can see the main differences. Um, something that I noticed too with this figure when I took him out, um, the, the original, the first version, his hands were such a pain to take off. Um, this one I had to do no modifications. It's still a little pull but it's not, I, don't, I didn't have to heat it and here's the hand and then I can just as far as with a little bit of effort, but nothing that, you know, you don't come across with other lines, um, it just snaps back in. So it looks like even though there was a delay in release in this figure, it looks like they made some tweaks on this version that the original had issues with changing the hands. I had to actually make the socket on the original um, a little wider so that the hands can go in. This one that did not have that issue. Not even heating was required. For me to change those hands so that is quite nice i'm going to already bring in the the first version of them just so that we can see a comparison right off the bat between the two so here we have them and here's up close again it's the same scope nothing's changed so that is what we get, we see the, the on their brace, they got, this one has silver, this one has kind of like a rust, green, um, copper going on with this is just one solid silver color. Um, comparing their accessories, I want to take off the head on this one so I can take off his cloak or his cape. Leave him like that for now. Put his brother next to him. So here we see his is all pretty much like a like a gray black with some white. 
Well, the original one has some brown, um, more of a different type of gray. We see that he, the original had like a white trimming, a grayish trimming. Well, this one is all pretty much all a solid color. And then the fur, again, it's a dark fur, and he has a brown fur. The inside is red, inside is black. Then on the back here, um, they both have like a fading corresponding to the, each of their color. Now, as far as the skirt, as you notice, um, he doesn't, ha I took his off. But there is a change in color in that. So here's the original. It's red. And what I like about the exclusive version, this pops more. So you can still see here, but with the black and, and here with the shiny as far as buttons and so forth, I like how it stands out more. Um, this is more dull. But, and this one pops more with the red, so it's kind of like a compromise for each one. But they're both very nice in my opinion. As far as the pants, um, again, his is black. Um, the exclusive is more gray. With um, the black boots here, they're both kind of, it's all black here where the original is kind of has the brown straps in the bottom. And it's kind of like a dirty gray in the bottom. And this his is more of a light gray. So we see the trimmings down there. So that's nice. Now, one thing I want to start off as far as I mentioned before, I'll continue doing some more like comparing some parts and so forth. Um, this is the same line that made um, Veteran William. And as many of you might know, with Veteran William, the original figure, he had extra legs, extra arms, so you can create a whole new character. While well, the original Master Miss, uh, Master Wang did not. You can only take off his cloak, cloak, and also his um, as far as his skirt. So you really couldn't make a whole lot of a different, like a like a bear animal. But when with um, veteran William, when they released the the exclusive version in the same retail store. They, they changed also his accessories. They gave him like, you know, a jacket, an axe, um, a chainsaw, um, pikes, you know, that he's like an outdoor uh, lumberjack type deal. However, with Master Wang, they did not do any changes as far as accessories. Um, all they pretty much, all they did was just paints and colors that are different. But you get the same exact figure as the original, no different accessories. I would have liked for him to at least come with different weapons. Now, here is the original Master Wang weapons I'm gonna show you with this case. So this is the original, brown. Again, kind of like that uh, rusted, jade, copper, and so forth. Brown case. Then his swords, which are awesome weapons that he comes with. Oops, that fell, excuse me. Let me pop that back in. And this does hold it really nice. It's just I didn't put it properly. But um, here's the swords. So again, that's for the original Master Wing. The exclusive version, his box is black with silver trimming. So that is very nice. The swords are exactly the same. There is no change whatsoever um, as far as the sword itself. It's the same handle, same sculpt, everything's the same. What I would have liked they have done with this exclusive at least is change the weapons like I mentioned already. Maybe give him hook swords or maybe in the case change it that you know he can put um, like a, a spear that splits in two. He carries in there and then maybe it's two-sided spear or something along those lines. At least give him a, a variant with that. But they did not do that. Moving on with some of the other accessories. Um, this is the or the hat of the original and here's the hat of the exclusive so it's a darker color both very nice either one is all you know I like both of them the same um, so they both fit just fine on both and um, but yeah they're very nice I like that so the other thing that, that I would say there was an improvement like I mentioned here changing the hands were improved 
um, the joints are um, are still tight, but you know more easy to move around. Is this neck piece is something that they change a little bit comparing between the two. This one here, um, the color orange here seems to it's like a lighter orange compared to the rest of the body. So when you put on Master Wang the original, you kind of see the difference in shade. Let me see real quick. So you see that? It, it, stank, it, it, it stands out like a sore thumb. Okay, so that's why with him, with the original, I don't put him on uh, with this neck fur. So, it does also limit his neck articulation. So, I never really display or use him with the neck fur because the change, the color difference and limiting his articulation. However, with the exclusive version, I do plan to keep it on him because it does match better with the rest of the body opposed to how this one does with the original. So I'm going to put the neck fur on him so that we can see um, as far as I'm talking about the shading and so forth. Give me one second. Putting it on. His little ponytail thing fell off. So here we go. So there. Here we see. And they even did the shading to run along his back. So it matches here to the back of his neck. It is a little lighter here, but the lighter does match with his shoulder. And then they put like a gray shading under his neck here, which matches his chest. So they did an improvement as far as I'm concerned with that, as far as making sure that the neck hair piece matches. Now with him having, I'm keeping the skirt on or the armor on him, and also gonna leave the neck fur on him. So what that does for me, it it creates more of a distinction between these two figures. So now I feel like I do have two different characters. Um, Master Wang original, he's more of the fiery, agile, um, less bulked. I'm calling this guy Master Feng, and he's gonna be more of the muscle guy, you know, less agile, but he's more of the muscle of the two brothers. So it's gonna be like the fire and ice. He is, you know, rage, he's cold calculating. So that's what I'm planning to do with, with these two characters. So you can, again, um, do enough that you could make a difference between them. Because even with, if you look at him right here, you think they might be two different fi um, figures. Because he, with this on, looks bulked up and the neck. While he looks slimmer and it does look like his two body modes. But it's the same figure. Um, so there's no... There's no adjustment to either one as far as um, the sculpt or anything like that. But with the accessories, what you put on, it does make a difference. So that's um, that's what I got we have for you guys. I hope this was helpful. So I'll catch you guys on the next video. See you later. So um, would I recommend this figure? I would say yes. To be honest with you, when these this um, after um, Veteran Willing came out, they showed Master Wang. They kind of closely showed the original and the exclusive around the same time. And I was going to hold off and get in the original because I really like Tigers, um, you know, with the black and white, uh, white Bengal Tigers. So I wasn't going to get the original. I was going to wait to get this guy, but he was taking too long. And then the original Master Wang, he was, um, I got him on sale on Amazon. They had him discounted. So I said, you know what? Let me go ahead and get this discounted version um, from Amazon. So I got him and I really enjoyed the figure. I take quite a bit of pictures with him ever since I got him. So he's a great figure. So then he, this guy finally came um, available on, on Bomb Us B, Bamboo's B. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, so I got it through them. I got a little bit of a discount because I did an early bird guest pre-order. So I, I saved about eight bucks. Um, so it's about $91 that got costed me, but there's, they have for 99 now. Um, as a, and again, as of right now, it's exclusive to them. 
but they do at least did a few improvements on on this one as far as the as far as I'm concerned with the neck fur and also making the hands easier to change. So um, yeah, I hope this was helpful if you had this figure in mind and getting and you know again it's a matter of preference whether you know you like the orange or if you like the the white and black. Um, I like them both. Um, I'm going to use them as brothers. Um, so yeah, definitely uh, it's a it's a great figure. It's just a shame that they didn't do as much as they did with veteran William. Um, you can really see the love and say dedication they put into that figure. These two fit this figure here, this mold. You can see there is some care to it, but they didn't really go. They didn't go that extra extra mile like they did with veteran William. Um, which which I mean as far as giving three head sculpts, you know, this would have been awesome with like a roaring upset head sculpt. This is what this also needed. Either one of them or both of them, they needed a third head sculpt because the, the has he has a neutral and he has one that's kind of like semi. Uh, so he need a roaring one. Uh, it's a shame they didn't do at least with him. Give him that. Um, so and also the extra limbs, the legs, and. Um, accessories to create a new character to give him more of a bear uh, mutated tiger type you know it's kind of like they did with again veteran william he's like you make just a full-blown uh, werewolf with him so anyways again i go hope this was helpful um like and subscribe um keep an eye out when i do future videos or um whether it be reviews or commentaries on figures all right um again thanks for clicking and hope to see you soon later